Joshi Shiraki with Equity Real Estate and Utah Home Sweet Home. And in today's episode, we are going to discuss pets when showing your house. You know, from time to time I get asked by individuals, what should I do with my pets when showing my home? Should I keep them there? Should I take them somewhere else? Does it matter? Um, and in my personal opinion, there are a couple reasons why I think it's best to take your pet out of the house. So let's just say, one, you know it's an open house, or two, uh, maybe you're at work, but you've been notified that a buyer's agent is going to be coming to your home to show your house to a prospective buyer. Regardless of the situation, uh, there's a couple reasons why I think it's best to remove the pet from your home if you are aware that somebody's coming to look at your home, and one of the reasons is simply for the safety of the pet. So, in some cases, a buyer's agent might come to the house with a prospective buyer and forget to close the front door behind them. They walk in, they look at the, uh, the front living room, and while they're doing that, uh, maybe your dog or your cat sneaks out the front door and your pet is now roaming the neighborhood. You have no idea because you're at work, you come home from work, and you realize your pet's no longer home. That's just not a good situation. So, if you could find somebody who can babysit your dog, or dog sit your dog, or dog sit your cat, that day that you know somebody's coming, in my personal opinion, that is preferred. Um, the other reason, you know, is more for a selling reason, to sell your home. Not everybody likes animals. Not everybody likes pets. Some people have allergies to pets. Some people um, are going to have an allergy reaction when they come to your home if your pet is there. and. We want to avoid anybody feeling uncomfortable when viewing your house as a prospective buyer. So, one, they don't have to worry about the pet sneaking out the door. If they're a responsible buyer looking through your house and they're a little bit worried about your pet sneaking out, we eliminate that worry from them. Two, if they're allergic to it. Three, if uh, the animals uh, maybe are a little messy, we don't have to worry about that mess. Um, sometimes animals have uh, they create an odor because they use the bathroom in the inside of the house and we want to eliminate that situation when buyers come. So as a selling perspective, uh, from a seller's point of view, I would personally suggest uh, having somebody watch your pets that day um, if you know somebody's coming. And then obviously from a safety perspective, again, I think it's just a good idea to have somebody else watch your pet that day. Maybe you can schedule the showing. Let's say you can't be there because you have to be at work but maybe you can schedule the showing so that you can run home, pick up your pet during your lunch hour, and somehow run back after the uh, uh, prospective buyers have viewed your house. Uh, that's just an idea. You could ask maybe anybody to help pet sit your pets during that particular time frame. But in my personal opinion, that is my typical go-to answer when I get asked, should I remove my pets from my house? Um, when selling. So I hope that video is helpful. You guys know your pets better than anyone. You know if your pet is the pet that's likely to run out the front door if they have an opportunity. So from there you can gauge how critical of an issue this is. Obviously the safety of the pet is... Uh, I have uh, dogs myself and so for me I hold the safety of my dogs very high which is why personally if I was to ever show my house, I my personal home, if I was going to sell it, I would remove my dogs that day, take them to a friend's, take them to a relative's, uh, whatever I needed to do to make sure they were safe. Um, and then from a seller's point of view, as we discussed, it just improves the potential buyer's experience when they're coming to your house. All right. Well, if you liked uh, this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tips on real estate. And if you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching.